Akeem Habarim, welcome to Messianic Moment Ministries. I'm Stephen Brook, and you know who you are. On this 18th day of May 2021, and Sabina, my bestest friend from forever, happy birthday. Hope you're watching. Anyway, today's question is, is Yeshua really our Savior? And, well, that's an interesting question, isn't it? The obvious answer is, yes, of course he is. I mean, that's what the Messiah is all about. Didn't you hear that he died for our sins? Did you read in Isaiah that he was wounded for our transgressions? I mean, didn't he himself say that the only way to the Father is through him? Yes, I know all that. But let's step back for a moment and let me ask you, who sent him? Is Yeshua really our Savior or the tool of our true Savior, God? The Messiah is the one who brings us back into communion with God, who removes our sins so that we can come into the presence of the Lord. And he is the one God promised to send throughout the Tanakh in order to provide a means for us to have our sins forgiven. Now, at first, God provided for the removal of sin through the sacrificial system, where an innocent animal is killed as a substitute for the death we deserve for having committed the sin. Innocent blood shed in placement of our blood, which should be shed. And when the animal is sacrificed, it has died for our sins. It was wounded for our transgressions, and by its stripes, we are healed. Sound familiar? So, is that sheep our savior? Do we call upon the name of the bull we killed when we ask for forgiveness? Of course not. <laughs> They're just sacrificial animals. <clears throat> so why then, if they died for our sins, do we not call them our savior? I mean, the truth is, they were. If not for that animal's death, we would have to die. So no, what makes Yeshua's actions any different from these animals? Well, the difference is that the animal didn't choose to die for us. And Yeshua did. He had the opportunity to reject his role as Messiah, just as Jonah initially rejected his calling to save Nineveh, Yeshua could have decided that he didn't want to be the Messiah and simply live out his life as a normal, although highly spiritual, man. And I believe if that had happened, God would simply have created another Messiah. In the same way that he would have saved the Jews in Shushan, as Mordecai told Esther in the Megillah of Hadassah 4.14, where Mordecai says, if you fail to speak up now, relief and deliverance will come to the Jews from a different direction. However, as we all know, Yeshua did not reject his calling to be the Messiah, the tool through which God provided the chance for everyone in the world to be saved from the eternal consequences of their sin. So, the answer to my original question, is Yeshua really our Savior, is yes. And... No. <laughs> yes, what he did allows us to be forgiven of our sins. He did this voluntarily and of his own free will. And since the destruction of the temple in Jerusalem, he has become our only means of salvation, which by definition makes him our savior. But the original provider of this means of salvation is God, who divinely created, sent, and empowered Yeshua to be the Messiah. So the answer to the question is also no, because if not for God, there would be no way to be forgiven of our sins <laughs> at all. In fact, God is really the only one who can forgive sin. Yes, Yeshua had that authority when he was performing his ministry on earth, but now that his role is to be our intercessor, he doesn't forgive us but asks his Father to forgive us because we are his sheep and because he shed his blood for us. Yeshua doesn't forgive our sins. Only God does. <laughs> and if you're not sure about that, then find the biblical passage that says the Messiah sits on the throne of judgment in heaven. Now, there, there, don't get all confused 
Don't worry that you have to change your beliefs about Yeshua being the Savior of the world because He is. But God is the ultimate power and authority to whom Yeshua humbly submits, which He made clear throughout the Gospels. Therefore, God is our Savior because He sent Yeshua who gave His human life so we could have eternal life. Yeshua saved us when he gave his life as a substitution for ours, providing the pathway to salvation. But this was only possible because God sent him, which means our real Savior is God. God is the ultimate Savior of the world. And when we individually accept Yeshua as our own Messiah, he becomes our personal Savior. Well, thank you for being here. And please like Share these messages, click the icon here on YouTube, go back to the website, click the subscribe button in the right-hand margin there, and make sure you do subscribe and share these out. And thanks to you, I've now reached over 100 subscribers to this YouTube channel. So thank you again. And please continue to help this ministry grow. Well, that's it for today. Zali Hitrot and Baruch Hashem. Thank you.